Friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm continuing my single essential oil series and today we are talking about lemon. I love doing these videos. It is very basic. We just break down one single essential oil and I share everything that I know about it. I have a few books and a few places online I like to get my research and I'll link everything below. There's a blog post that always goes with all of my videos too in case you guys are more just like, like to read or want all the links to stuff. Basically, I'm going to talk about the uses, like the uses I have seen that maybe we don't use yet, the ways that we use lemon, um, miscellaneous things, medical what is in the oil or what um, constituents or compounds make up lemon safety and then pricing um, and that is pretty much it but if you have any requests on what oil you want me to do next let me know in the comments um, I have planned to do blue yarrow which is very highly requested and I'm excited I just ordered it um, and it is a very expensive oil with Young Living so I went with Eden's Garden and blue or in plant therapy I got two different ones but anyways I have a few different ones planned out for June but let me me know what oil you want me to do next before we get too far into the video though i want to share fium with you guys i haven't in a while um and it is one of my favorite all-time essential oil accessories it's basically your personal little diffuser um this is the fume inhaler and inside goes a core which they sell pre-saturated cores they use the best quality essential oils um but you can also just buy blank ones and put your own oils on but you put in a core and you can just inhale your oil like that. This is the lemon berry bliss, which is for seasonal allergies. Um, but really it's just kind of dreamy and I like it any time of the year too. Um, but it's the lemon lavender peppermint blend with a couple, uh, bonus oils. So you insert the core into the opposite end that you breathe in through and kind of give it a tap if you need to. Um, then you just breathe in through your mouth, out through your nose. You want to do it just a few times in a row, like a few times a day. That's what I like to do personally, but I love this so much. And they have, um, they're very focused on helping people quit smoking right now, cigarettes and vaping. And I think that is amazing. Um, you're replacing such a bad habit with something so beneficial. So anyways, if you want to check them out, the link will be in the description along with a 10% off code. Um, the burl and the olive wood are my two favorite, but all of them are beautiful and unique. And they come in this little just dropping everything they come in this little travel tube too um so that that will make your core last longer and also if you're just throwing it in your purse or something it's nice to have this but okay let's talk lemon um i have the uses up first uh and i would say the number one thing i use lemon for is to get a little hair ties out of the girl's hair those tiny little clear rubber bands just one drop on the rubber band and just pops it right off um so pain-free removal for that and goo gone uh again because of the girls they put stickers on things or just to get labels off of jars that i'm repurposing this is nature's goo gone so those are the main two things that we use it for um i like to put it in water as well you can make your own lemonade um but i have a few listed here so skin support is something i really haven't thought about in a while i think previously i used to put lemon in my um nighttime serum um, but it is good for reducing acne and wrinkles and it's really good for, it's a super cleansing and purifying oil. So in skincare, you can imagine that's what it does too. Um, and it's just so fresh. Um, side, side note though, and I'll talk about the safety later, but it is phototoxic phototoxic and so if you put it on your skin wait 12 hours before going into the sun uh next is emotional support it's very uplifting it's no surprise that citrus oils are just bright and fresh and just make you happy um and so it has a very strong anti-stress effect study with mice um they were given three behavioral tasks and after using lemon essential oil um the results suggested that they possess an or it possesses a notable antidepressant like effects when doing the tasks um and so it is it's just bright and uplifting citrus oils are also um cold pressed from the peel so it is not like the juicy fruit is like the freshness of the peel if that makes sense and i just i love citrus oils next use is laundry um again very clean cleansing and purifying so um you can add it to any of your laundry recipes I am planning on doing an updated video on that. I've It's been a while, but we do make our own products and then we use a lot of different natural things. But you can make your own laundry detergent, your own fabric softener, your own um, 
like a laundry boost, like a scent boost or a stain remover boost. And you can also make homemade bleach and you can add lemon to all of those to kind of boost the power. You can also add it to your dryer balls, throw them into the dryer and just get that freshness. Cleaning is the next category and obviously I've already talked about it a lot. It's very cleansing. So I add lemon to my Thieves cleaner. That's really, I use Branch Basics, Thieves and, um, oh shoot, there's one more. But I use just the natural cleaning concentrates and just add lemon to boost its power. Also, we like to make our own soft scrubs. So with baking soda, I think it's pretty much just baking soda, maybe citric acid, um, and then lemon essential oil. And it's a really good degreasing like scrub uh, for like the stove top or baths if they get extra dirty. Um, let's see. Yeah, also works as a natural goo gone. Goo gone and then if you diffuse it, um, it helps to purify the air. So very cleansing. Um, miscellaneous facts that I have found. Um, a 2014 study found that lemon oil aromatherapy reduced nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. And I love that um, because ginger was my go-to and really the only oil I knew that helped with that were peppermint. So it's just cool to have another alternative because maybe someone doesn't like ginger. Um, so that was nice and a good just like tip to have up here. Lemon is also known for its ability to help cleanse toxins from any part of the body and it's used um, for lymphatic flow, drainage. Um, so dry brushing is a really good way to get your lymph moving, but also massage, a very light massage. I have a whole book and a whole video on lymph and I'm like, love it. So I will try to link that here below. Uh, but add, so if you're doing a massage, you just basically put like a coconut oil, um, base with lemon, grapefruit, cypress. There's a bunch of different oils to help, um, stimulate lymph and detox. Um, but you just, massage it on and it is dreamy. It smells amazing. My recipe should be in that video. Um, I will link that below. Allergies is the next and I just mentioned it in the um, fume lemonberry bliss. That core has the trio, the famous trio for allergies, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Um, but lemon is very um, like anti-inflammatory but also um, antioxidant and that's why it helps with allergies. Um, Ayur Ayurvedic medicine practitioners have been using lemon um, essential oil a, for at least thousands of years. Um, and lemon peel has the ability to come combat conditions related to dampness, such as common cold, candida, infections, loose stool, respiratory, and sore throats. So another way that we love to use lemon is when I feel like a sore throat coming on. Um, whenever a sickness is starting... For me, it's either a headache or a sore throat, and I just like to nip it in the bud. I like to do thieves and lemon on a spoonful of honey or in the tea, um, and it really just helps, like, knock it out. Um, I would say 99% of the time for me. Um, it's also been used for a natural remedy for gallstones, and I have no experience. I don't even fully know what that is, but I did find that, so that was a fun fact. Um, next is medical, and I get this from a couple different books, but the medical properties are antiseptic, immune stimulant, imp improves memory, relaxation, and it's rich in limonene, which has been extensively studied for its ability to combat tumor growth. And in the Dr. Josh Axe essential oil book, Ancient Medicine, I think that's what it's called. Um, lots of talk about cancer in the book, and I don't love to talk about that, but um, it is mentioned for that multiple times. So just do your research and maybe get that book. Um, it's really interesting. The compounds or constituents, what the oil is made of, um, alpha pinenes, beta pinenes and d limonene and i will put those there down in the blog post um just so you can see them visually because i'm sure i'm pronouncing them wrong um safety like i said it's photosensitive and so that just means if you put it on your skin and go directly into the sun you're going to get a rash or a reaction um so if you're putting it in like your night in your skincare routines or products just put it in your night one and put it on at night make sure you wait like 12 hours at least I would say 10 to 12 hours um, before you go into the sun. Um, and then last is pricing. So I have just a couple listed. Um, I'll put more in the blog post, but I just did Revive and Young Living. Two to compare, a 10 mil from Revive is um, $7, and a 5 mil from Young Living is $8.55 or $6.50 if you're a member. Um, so I love lemon. We use it a lot. I'm surprised I hadn't done this one already for this series, but let me know how you guys use lemon and any other little tips that you guys have. The link to shop all of my favorite essential oil brands will be below. We do use Young Living occasionally still, um, but we use Revive, Eden's Garden, Plant Therapy, um, Rocky Mountain Oils, and Simply Earth. 
and um, also the link for Fume will be in the description below too with the code. Let me know if you have any questions on that though. I feel like people like to overcomplicate it or they tend to um, because it is just such a simple thing. It's not electronic or vape. It's just you breathing in your oils. Um, so let me know if you have questions. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I hope you have a great day. Bye.